Well, God goes on and he says, I will remove the iniquity from you. And he even says in the end that he will remove all of the iniquity from the land in one moment. Well, what is iniquity? Iniquity is that sin that gets passed into the family tree. It causes the corruption and warping of the genetics, which can give rise to insanity, mental health conditions, depression, anxiety, et cetera, across multiple generations. It can also cause uh, various diseases that are transmitted in families such that we say, well, cancer runs in that family, et cetera. So God is saying he will remove even the iniquitous root, even the thing that, brought, that allows that spirit of death to attach in order that we can walk in, as Paul says, newness of life. This is now coming out of Romans chapter eight, but it's the exact same idea. So if we start reading the Bible comprehensively, if we start reading the Bible in the light of its historic context, if we start seeing the examples that God gave, both through Zerubbabel as well as through Joshua, ultimately coming down to Jesus, we understand that it is God's intention that we live in life, not in death. <music>